Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about troubleshooting an issue that you may face from time to time if your images are not showing on your Divi website. So I'm going to talk about what could be causing this and how to solve this. You can follow along with the written tutorial here by clicking the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. So if you're checking your Divi website and you're seeing, um, maybe you're not seeing your images or you may be seeing a little icon uh, similar to like this one right here that I've shown in my thumbnail. If you're seeing like a little icon like that in the top left corner or the images just aren't there, then it's most likely that you're facing a mixed content error. So I'm going to talk about that and how you could solve that. So here's two probable causes for the missing images and they're related to each other. So the first one you can see is the wrong image path. Now this can happen if you're migrating your site to a new host. So maybe you've built a site on one host or on your local server and then you've migrated it. And so the URL in the, that's actually you know, the path where the file is located on your server. That may be from the old hosting site or the old local server. And so the path may simply be wrong and still referencing the old. And so you just need to um, get that updated. And I'll talk about that. The other common issue is a mixed content error. Now this is related to your SSL certificate and it happens it's related to whether you have that S, where it's HTTPS, or just HTTP, which is not secure. Um, and so if there are some things on your site, such as an image or another uh, piece of content that is HTTP, but your site is listed as HTTPS, well then that's mixed, isn't it? So some content is one and some content's the other, so they call it a mixed content error. And so you have to get all the content to where it has that S on the end, all right? Now the issue could be related to either of these, so let's try to determine what it is. You can actually do this uh, pretty quickly by uh, right-clicking anywhere on your site, especially on the icon. And I'll show you that if you were to right click and choose inspect in your browser tools, and then you find an image. So let's say I find this one right here. Over here in the side, you'll see that it's, you know, pulling up lots of different code related things here, but not to worry, just try to look where it says, um, where you can see like an, a link like this, where it has like the URL of the website, and then it'll be something like WP content, uploads, and then it will be the file name of the image. If you right click on that, here you can see open in new tab. So I'm gonna open that and look, I can see right up here at the top, the full path of this particular image. WP content, uploads, 2022, 06, and then the, the file name, okay? Now for this, I can see that it's HTTPS. If if it was not showing or there's some other issue, you, this may load as HTTP, and that way you would know you have a problem. The reason I'm showing you this, opening it in a new tab like that, is because it's kind of the quickest little hack to get to the URL path and, and see it very clearly. You don't have to open it up like that, but in my opinion, that's the easiest way to just check it for sure. Now, if it is a mixed content error, so if the image that I had opened there was um, HTTP and everything else is HTTPS, well, then it's gonna show an error when I right click like this, and then I click the second tab, console. So when you're looking in the console, see how there's these red errors here. You're going to see a red error, and let me just Google this here. So I've looked up mixed content error, on Google and you can see it'll look something like this. It'll have a red little X like that and some red text and it'll say like, you know, it's going to explain it, you know, like this particular example, this was loaded over HTTPS but requested an insecure script, blah, 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 blah. 
it's going to explain something along these lines. You can see all these different types of errors, mixed content, mixed content. If you see something like that, then it's definitely a mixed content error. So how do you solve this? Well, like I was saying, the path of the URL. <clears throat> so how do we solve this? Like I've been saying, the path of the image may be wrong. And if it is wrong, like you've just determined, then you need to change that path to be the correct path. So whether it's still saying like, you know, www.oldsite.com, you know, it's, it's referencing the old site, or whether it's the HTTPS issue with the mixed content error. Either way, you can solve it with my other tutorial here, replacing the URL in the WordPress database. Now, there are various free plugins that do this. Uh, there's a lot of popular ones, and basically you type in the path that you want to find in your database. So the one that's bad, the one that's not working, you want to find that and then replace with a new one, which would be like your current site or maybe maybe find HTTP and replace with HTTPS. All right, so things like that, or maybe find, you know, www.oldsite.com, replace with www.newsite.com. Okay, that's what you would do. Here is a link to the other tutorial. I'm not going to go through it because we already do on the other one. All right, so here is the tutorial, replace URLs in WordPress. And again, here it kind of lists some of the things, you know, if you've migrated this site or you have an SSL, um, mixed content error, you know, some kind of thing. Maybe you've imported a child theme and there's uh, demo links. I've had that happen where um, in some of my demos, I have links in the menu that we need to replace. So, this guide is perfect for this. Here's a list of four different plugins that do this. And uh, let's see, I used the Better Search Replace. Here's kind of what I was saying earlier about search for, replace with, and then you're basically doing that search, that find and replace in the database. Here you can see ex explanation of it and of course the video over here. All right, so I hope that solves the problem for you. Be sure to check out all of our tutorials in the troubleshooting series. We have quite a series going here, um, over a dozen tutorials about troubleshooting things in Divi and WordPress. So be sure to subscribe. We actually have several more planned related to this kind of series where you're doing things with maintenance and troubleshooting. So um, we try to do a mix of things here on the channel, tutorials and fun hacks and styling. And also things like this where we're just educating you on how to solve these common issues that you may face with your website. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.